Welcome to day 165 of our one-year Bible reading plan. Today we'll read Psalms chapters 50 through 55. Before you begin, remember that it helps to establish a daily reading time. Begin with a short prayer, asking the Holy Spirit for wisdom and understanding. Always read for understanding and to hear from God. Not just to finish today's reading, please like, subscribe, and share this video to bless someone else. Now, let's begin. Psalms chapter 50, verse 1. The Mighty One, God the Lord, speaks and summons the earth from the rising of the sun to where it sets. From Zion, perfect in beauty, God shines forth. Our God comes and will not be silent. A fire devours before Him, and around Him a tempest rages. He summons the heavens above and the earth, that He may judge His people. Gather to me this consecrated people, who made a covenant with me by sacrifice. And the heavens proclaim His righteousness, for He is a God of justice. Listen, my people, and I will speak. I will testify against you, Israel. I am God, your God. I bring no charges against you concerning your sacrifices or concerning your burnt offerings which are ever before me. I have no need of a bull from your stall or of goats from your pens. Verse 10. For every animal of the forest is mine and the cattle on a thousand hills. I know every bird in the mountains and the insects in the fields are mine. If I were hungry, I would not tell you, for the world is mine, and all that is in it. Do I eat the flesh of bulls or drink the blood of goats? Sacrifice thank offerings to God, fulfill your vows to the Most High, and call on me in the day of trouble. I will deliver you, and you will honor me. But to the wicked person God says, What right have you to recite my laws or take my covenant on your lips? You hate my instruction and cast my words behind you. When you see a thief, you join with him. You throw in your lot with adulterers. You use your mouth for evil and harness your tongue to deceit. Verse 20. You sit and testify against your brother and slander your own mother's son. When you did these things and I kept silent, you thought I was exactly like you, but I now arraign you and set my accusations before you. Consider this, you who forget God or I will tear you to pieces with no one to rescue you. Those who sacrifice thank offerings honor me, and to the blameless I will show my salvation. Psalms chapter 51 verse 1 Have mercy on me, O God, according to your unfailing love. According to your great compassion blot out my transgressions. Wash away all my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. For I know my transgressions and my sin is always before me. Against you, you only. Have I sinned and done what is evil in your sight? So you are right in your verdict and justified when you judge. Surely I was sinful at birth, sinful from the time my mother conceived me. Yet you desired faithfulness even in the womb. You taught me wisdom in that secret place. Cleanse me with hyssop and I will be clean. Wash me and I will be whiter than snow. Let me hear joy and gladness. Let the bones you have crushed rejoice. Hide your face from my sins and blot out all my iniquity. Verse 10. Create in me a pure heart, O God, and renew a steadfast spirit within me. Do not cast me from your presence or take your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation and grant me a willing spirit to sustain me. Then I will teach transgressors your ways so that sinners will turn back to you. Deliver me from the guilt of bloodshed, O God, you who are God my Savior, and my tongue will sing of your righteousness. Open my lips, Lord, and my mouth will declare your praise. You do not delight in sacrifice, or I would bring it. You do not take pleasure in burnt offerings. My sacrifice, O God, is a broken spirit, a broken and contrite heart you, God, will not despise. May it please you to prosper Zion, to build up the walls of Jerusalem. Then you will delight in the sacrifices of the righteous, in burnt offerings offered whole. Then bulls will be offered on your altar. Psalms chapter 52, verse 1. Why do you boast of evil, you mighty hero? Why do you boast all day long, you who are a disgrace in the eyes of God? You who practice deceit, your tongue plots destruction. It is like a sharpened razor. You love evil rather than good, falsehood rather than speaking the truth. You love every harmful word, you deceitful tongue. Surely God will bring you down to everlasting ruin. He will snatch you up and pluck you from your tent. He will uproot you from the land of the living. The righteous will see and fear. They will laugh at you, saying, Here now is the man who did not make God his stronghold, but trusted in his great wealth and grew strong. 
by destroying others. But I am like an olive tree flourishing in the house of God. I trust in God's unfailing love forever and ever. For what you have done I will always praise you in the presence of your faithful people. And I will hope in your name, for your name is good. Psalms chapter 53 verse 1 The fool says in his heart, There is no God. They are corrupt and their ways are vile. There is no one who does good. God looks down from heaven on all mankind to see if there are any who understand, any who seek God. Everyone has turned away, all have become corrupt. There is no one who does good, not even one. Do all these evildoers know nothing? They devour my people as though eating bread. They never call on God. But there they are, overwhelmed with dread, where there was nothing to dread. God scattered the bones of those who attacked you. You put them to shame, for God despised them. Oh, that salvation for Israel would come out of Zion. When God restores his people, let Jacob rejoice and Israel be glad. Psalms chapter 54, verse 1. Save me, O God, by your name. Vindicate me by your might. Hear my prayer, O God. Listen to the words of my mouth. Arrogant foes are attacking me. Ruthless people are trying to kill me. People without regard for God. Surely God is my help. The Lord is the one who sustains me. Let evil recoil on those who slander me. In your faithfulness destroy them. I will sacrifice a free will offering to you. I will praise your name, Lord, for it is good. You have delivered me from all my troubles, and my eyes have looked in triumph on my foes. Psalms chapter 55 verse 1. Listen to my prayer, O God. Do not ignore my plea. Hear me and answer me. My thoughts trouble me, and I am distraught because of what my enemy is saying, because of the threats of the wicked. For they bring down suffering on me, and assail me in their anger. My heart is in anguish within me. The terrors of death have fallen on me. Fear and trembling have beset me. Horror has overwhelmed me. I said, Oh, that I had the wings of a dove. I would fly away and be at rest. I would flee far away and stay in the desert. I would hurry to my place of shelter, far from the tempest and storm. Lord, confuse the wicked, confound their words, for I see violence and strife in the city. Verse 10. Day and night they prowl about on its walls. Malice and abuse are within it. Destructive forces are at work in the city. Threats and lies never leave its streets. If an enemy were insulting me, I could endure it. If a foe were rising against me, I could hide. But it is you, a man like myself, my companion, my close friend, with whom I once enjoyed sweet fellowship at the house of God as we walked about among the worshippers. Let death take my enemies by surprise. Let them go down alive to the realm of the dead, for evil finds lodging among them. As for me, I call to God, and the Lord saves me. Evening, morning, and noon I cry out in distress, and he hears my voice. He rescues me unharmed from the battle waged against me, even though many oppose me. God, who is enthroned from of old, who does not change, he will hear them and humble them because they have no fear of God. Verse 20. My companion attacks his friends. He violates his covenant. His talk is smooth as butter, yet war is in his heart. His words are more soothing than oil, yet they are drawn swords. Cast your cares on the Lord and he will sustain you. He will never let the righteous be shaken. But you, God, will bring down the wicked into the pit of decay. The bloodthirsty and deceitful will not live out half their days. But as for me, I trust in you. This concludes Psalms chapters 50 through 55 for day 165. We hope you are enjoying these daily videos. Remember to check the description box for links and resources. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Your support helps spread God's word to reach more people on YouTube. We'll see you in the next video for our day 166 reading.